What? You're not the one with the great soul arrow? What the hell? How do I deal with this shit? Hello Dark Souls fans, this is Shadow Fury 333 with another episode of Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3 and I think I've found a new area. Got a bit of a tip from a friend, so like, oh yeah, by the way, there was a branching path like 10 episodes before you actually thought there was a branching path. Because I went down this way. And then I went down and I... Actually, it wasn't there. It was... What was it? I think it was through here? Where did I even go? I'm trying to remember where I went. But yeah, I went and took a different path. And that led me to a staircase, which... I guess it must have been down one of these places over here? It wasn't in this room at all, so I don't know. Anyway. So yeah, the staircase is over there. This is the staircase I got mixed up by. When I first went through the area. Must have just not gone upstairs first. Anyway. So this appears to be new. We might be making progress. I'm no longer stuck. This appears to be a boss gate. My health at? Oh, my health's okay. Alright. Okay. Well, this is certainly starting out well. Alright, what do you do, Crystal Sage? Oh, there you are. This feels like the Aldia boss fight from the end of Dark Souls 2. Just in the way it's like, pop up, do stuff, pop down, pop up somewhere else, do stuff, pop down. Okay. Lots of crystal, no indication of our... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's also... Okay, cool. It's like the... Ow! What the hell? I think... When he's a fake! Or only when he's real, right? Ah. Which is you. Okay, so it's like... What was that... Shoot, remember the name of the enemy. There, I'll remember it after the fight. It was from the catacombs in Dark Souls 2. Okay. It's the one using the crystal magic that I actually care about. Did you just die already? Yes! There we go. Okay. Hey, I got a boss first time! Oh, this is clearly a relatively simple one. But yeah, I don't remember the name of it. It was... There was a boss in Dark Souls 1 at the end of the catacombs whose name I don't remember. It was like the... It was a three-headed thing at the end of the cat. What was the name of that thing? I don't know why I can't remember its name. I just can't. I feel kind of embarrassed. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the standard thing I do after a boss fight, which is go over to Firelink Shrine. And then figure out what the soul does. If nothing, then I use it for levels. Ah. Actually, how many levels do I need before I have strength 23 or 24? One more level to strength 24, so if I can, that wouldn't be a bad resource to use to get both the sword and, I guess I'd wear the Karthus milk ring, but whatever, I can still use that sword. But hey, something new. Uh -huh. No longer stuck. Yes, I have. 
Actually, you know what? Alright, so that's just crystal hail. Okay, whatever. I don't care about sorceries in this build. Cool. So, I will use it up for everything. First off, let's read the soul. What does it say? Soul of a Crystal Sage. One of the twisted souls steeped in strength. Used to acquire many souls or transpo- Okay, we know this stuff. The twin Crystal Sages once served as spiritual guides to the scholars of the Grand Archives, and one day went on to ally with the Undead Legion. Guessing that's the Duke's Archives. Pinwheel! That was the name of the boss at the end of the catacombs that I'm trying to remember. Pinwheel. Yeah, okay. But I don't care. Yes, use Soul of a Crystal Sage. Wow, that's not even enough. Is this enough? No. Shoot, I'm like 2,000 souls short. Well, that sucks. Well, that explains something, though. I remember I was thinking, man, I feel like I'm under level for Smoldering Lake. I'm going through it, and it's like everything's one-shotting me. Yeah, but I guess I was, actually, because I think this... Given the strength of the boss, the number of souls, all that, I think this is where I was meant to go in the first place. And I ended up just taking a massive detour through, through Farron Keep and through a bunch of other crap. It's like... Yeah. Okay, there's a crystal lizard down there. There was another staircase up, though. So there's two ways out. And there was also, I think, a staircase back? No, not really. There was something that was up... There was an item that was on a staircase type thing that you could drop down from, but I don't know where it was. Oh, this is just a dead end. Okay, never mind. Maybe someone pops up there at some point during one of the quests. I don't know. I feel like I'm not accomplishing the quests because I'm not really seeing characters because I'm kind of rushing, honestly, a bit through the game. Hey, hey, more twinkling. That not that I need it, but hey, more twinkling. Oh, that's it. That's the corpse of the one I just killed. What do you have? More twinkling. Okay. Lots of twinkling titanite. And nowhere to spend it. Oh, shoot, did it spot me? I think it spotted me. Wait, what's over this one? Oh! One of those mad priests. Alright. Oh! Ow! There we go. Ah, someone I can actually beat reliably. First go. I missed that. Okay, so this is a lot of drop-offs. Actually, we're back to where we were before, I think. Yes, we are! Okay, return. So back to the main path, which I think has to drop off in order to get down to that... Ow. Well, let's just chop you up then. Like so! Oh yeah, I've embered up again, because I he because I beat a boss! Yeah. And still nowhere near the souls. Is that thing alone? I actually haven't fought it since I've upgraded my stuff and leveled up and just generally gotten a more powerful character, so... Oh. Not gonna be careless, though, that's for sure. Not against that thing. Holy crap. Ooh, Herald stuff. A little late for that message. It's a little late for that. What is this Herald stuff? Herald, 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 Herald. Steel armor with a pure white cape. The signature of Heralds of the Way of White. 
Protection made of steel has excellent physical absorption, but is found lacking against blunt strikes and lightning damage. Okay, so this is basic armor that's still not really a patch on my Lothric Knight armor. Although, to be fair, it's quite a lot lighter. So, hmm. Okay. I think I'll stick with the Lothric Knight for now, but it's good to know. Actually, how does it look? I'll put back on the Dark Gauntlets because I can. Actually, yeah, I guess Herald Gloves would be the same thing. Rightly Flame, but made to last on long journeys. Okay, well... It's not bad. It's actually kind of fitting. But the defense is not great. Wow, that versus Strike Absorption is terrible. And the Herald Helm was just a helm, so no. I want a hat. I want a very specific hat. I don't know if the game has that hat. If it doesn't, then I don't have any hat to work with. That was, what was I using before? Was I using the Brigand Gauntlets with Lothric Knight? I think. Yeah, it's too, too heavy. It has to be Brigand Gauntlets. Oh well. Like, I want something kind of in between Lothric Knight and something else that I can put on heavier gloves and still have a decent absorption setup. But, I don't know. Doesn't seem like that's a thing. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, what's on here? Whoops. No, nothing down there. Okay. No reason to jump to my death. Hey, another bonfire! That's handy. Possibly a tad excessive, but, you know, handy. Duo ahead. Well, what's over off to the side? Because I don't like taking the normal path at first. Oh. It's just a wraparound. Okay. Not going to help me much. What's up here? Is there something more up here besides Duo? Message! What does Message say? Oh, yeah. We're wrapping around again. Yep. I mean, this is kind of nature y. Don't have so many complaints about nature y stuff. Man, I know I was complaining about the catacombs and about the smoldering lake and all that, and I still stand by those, at least in terms of that's a lot of the same aesthetic, same rather drab aesthetic over and over again. What the heck is that thing? Oh, it's a brigand enemy, okay. But they said duo. There's the other half of it. Ow! What the hell is the tracking going on here? Was this Dark Souls 2? Fine, I can do the, uh, I can do the same as you. Uh, except I can't. I except I can. Ow. Oops. Don't want to do that. I'm kind of glad that failed, too. Ah, it's Dark Souls 2 tracking. I should probably take advantage of that more myself, but still. Now you die! And these things likely do not respawn, so I'll just... Use up my souls to level up! Alright! Back to Fire Link Shrine! I'll cut to when I get back here. All right, and we're back. And the thief, I'm guessing, stays dead. I mean, usually when they have that really dramatic long death sequence, they're staying dead. Usually. I don't feel like that's a guarantee, but it seems like it's a relatively consistent pattern. It's down here. Nothing. Oh. Treasure? Or liar? Well, only one of you can be right. Oh no, you can both be right. Hey, the regular crest shield I was talking about a long time ago. Well, let's read the description. What does it say? A knight shield engraved with a crest. One of the enchanted blue shields. The crest shield greatly reduces dark damage. Oh, that's interesting. 
I expected it to be magic. Because then again, dark wasn't a thing in Dark Souls 1, so yeah. It was just Souls 1. People just pretend that the dark's there. But no, the game was just called Souls. Really not the most imaginative names, gotta, gotta be honest. Have fun dealing with me. Yo! <laughs> oh! That's really that hit me? In any meaningful way? Well, whatever. You were loads easier than that thief. That thief had a chance. Ooh, spire shield. That's poison reduction. Assuming it's the same as before. Shield bearing a large etching of a spider. Shields of this style are commonly used by savage mountain bandits and offer high resistance to poison. There we go. No jumping ahead. We'll see about that. Oh, wow, that was weird. All right, whatever, cool. Let's move on to... We're getting attacked more. You know, what's interesting I find is that the, like, thief and bandit and similar enemies like that, you'd fought in Darkroot Forest in the original game, but we've already established that Farron Keep is Darkroot. It was this game's Darkroot. Unless it's like, there's two dark roots basically. You have the dark root of places you'd actually get attacked by enemies that are there because you're there, and dark root of, oh, this is where you fight a bunch of, but then those of NPC player characters, like, of computer-controlled regular PCs. Ah, okay, all right. Me, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get firebolts at some point. Ah! Revenge in kind! She's just a lot of these things here. Oh, wait, you're just a dog. You're just a dog. You know, my concern. You know what? What am I doing? Dark Souls, the cover shooter! There's not one of them, that's the thing. There's a dog over there. It's a dog. Actually, it's two dogs. Apparently, this last thing this one needs is more bolts in its body, but I just can't help but oblige the bolts. The bolts need their food. Oh, come on. Ah! Okay, that was bad. Actually, you know what I should probably do every time I want to do that? Put on Morn's Ring. Well, if I have the free time, might as well, because I got the time. And back on to Pontus Right Eye. Actually, I wonder if Pontus Left Eye would be useful now. I mean, I'm dealing with an area I'd probably be able to hit a lot of things in. Although, then again, they also hit me. I don't know. That's kind of been the weakness of Ponta's left eye. Is there something? Oh, they must have gone around the side in order to fight these. That didn't likely work out too well. Okay, where's the next enemy? Come on, come on. Oh, is that a pyromancer? Well, it's dead now. Whatever it was. Get out of my way. Esther Shard, yeah. I was I figured you'd come along. You'd want to see what's going on. What happened to your friends? They died horribly. By my hand. And you can quote me on that. Alright, where is the oh what's this?
This seems unpleasant. Yeah, no kidding. Well, next best thing. Oh. Fire bombs just barely don't deal enough damage. Are these infinitely spawning? I think these may be infinitely spawning. They're also not especially hostile from the looks of it. Like, yeah, they exist, but they're not doing much. I can get my health back. I guess they just spawn all around me, huh? Well, I guess this is a health farm. We'll just get health then. Thanks for all the health. Ooh, double backstab. Well, there's treasure over here, I guess. Hey! That could be neat. The store of greatsword, probably faith-based. That's cool. Where am I? I guess I'm in the cathedral catacombs. That must be what this is. Okay, well, this seems... Relatively straightforward. Is there anything over here that's worth dropping down for? No, no secret or anything. Unless something's over here in this little path? I was only assuming it would take me back to where I came from. I actually don't know. Takes me around. Hey, treasure! Hey, loads of zombies! Baiting soul. Executioner's greatsword. Loads of zombies. Whoa, what? Oh, so they're not totally harmless. But they're for the most part harmless, so I'm not going to worry about it. I did get hit, though. Ow! Good wall. Okay, where else have I not explored in this weird place? So I think the ones that come out of the ground don't have the weird second bodies in them, but the ones that are above ground to begin with too. Could be wrong. Okay, whatever. And you as well. Yeah. What? No! Shoot. Ran out of stamina. Worst possible time, too. Okay, so other than a slightly annoying graveyard, is there anything else back here I care about? Is that more treasure? No. Oh, wait, yes! Holy crap, yes! Wait, I'm... What? Am I just bleeding from being here? Oh. Shit! This place is not easy to get back to! Wherever it is, I, I'm lost! Where the heck was I? Uh, I'm so confused. Whatever, I'll just have to cut out the run back.
All right, we're back, more or less. Dark Souls fans, not quite got my souls back, but now we're at the area where you basically bleed forever for some reason that I don't understand. Ow! Shit, one dead. I'm not dead! Hooray! I lived! There's my stuff. Or maybe it's like something weird is happening, like some enemies looking at me, or some other weird remote thing. Like, I'm not bleeding right now. Ah, shit, out of stamina again. Is that the same giant that was trying to kill me before and then decided to help me out? Hey, more undead bone shard, nice. Thanks, giant, I think. Well, whoever it is. Oh, what? Oh, wait, are those barbs? Oh, shoot, it's those barbs or something on the spears here. Ow, get away from me. Wait, why is it not going away? I'm outside of the spear area, what the hell? Why am I losing blood? I don't care, what's the item? Oh, maybe something hit me that causes me to bleep forever. That's weird. Seems like the case, but that's still weird. I just opened up a shortcut before I got to the place the shortcut's for, didn't I? There are enemies. Okay. Needed to check. You never know. Oh. Okay, what the heck are those? Oh, shit. I see what's going on. Can I not roll them off me? Oh, you can see it, right? Ew. Oh, I see. The blood red moss gets rid of the maggots. That's really gross. Like, really remarkably disgusting. I didn't even notice what was going on. I just heard weird noises and all that. Oh, is there... What's making the weird noises? And yeah, it's maggots. Ew. That's really disgusting. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense because my character is technically dead. Well, undead. But... It's still really gross. Okay, what remnant do I have? One thing, what resources do I have? Okay, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna ember up first. That's a crystal lizard. Now, granted, it's probably a bit weaker than the crystal lizards I've fought in the past. Being that those crystal lizards were, well... Actually, the last one I fought was actually further back, so you know, maybe not. Does it awake? No. So I don't have to fight it. I'm just thinking... There's a way to get a bonfire or a shortcut to a bonfire easily enough. I might as well look for that before trying to fight the tit large titanite lizard because I might die. I haven't done the fight in a while. I'm not entirely sure how to do it best. Oh crap, another one of these things. Uh, I don't even want to risk it. I only have one more blood, blood red moss clump. I don't want to risk it. Although for all I know, walking into here is going to cause me to get maggots. 
Nope. Ugh. I do not like maggots. Okay, is that it? Is that everything? We good? Apparently someone raided a message I made and I got Estus for because I think that's how it works now. Like in Dark Souls 2. St. Belvine, what's this? That's a consumable item. I think. Or is it? What? What do I do with that? What was that? Oh, I see. Sacred Chime for casting miracles of the gods. A Belvine come from a small saint tree that has been miraculously or meticulously tended to. Saint tree Belvines are customary in the far north and allow for faster casting than ordinary Sacred Chimes. Really? I guess that's a very specific aspect of it. it does not scale very well, though. Could be useful offensively. I'll have to keep it in mind. Down here. Oh. Oh, I see. This is a potential run backy shortcut thing. Not unlike this one? No! Oh, I see! That's what it's supposed to work! Okay, because yeah, the area. This shortcut, it goes up to an area. Because this here. I don't know if I can show it, but this right here. I can drop off to right after I get, or right as I get into the catacombs area. Like right before I do, I can drop down here into the lower water area. So there actually is a pretty short run back shortcut. Cool, okay. That's handy. Although one thing I do want to know is, is there a way up to that other area that I can see? Or is this ladder way too high? How am I going to get up there? How am I going to get up there? Am I going to get over there? How is this going to work? I don't think I will. What? Okay, that's interesting. But apparently no, there is no other path. Not down to where I wanted to go. There is more money. I mean, Titanite shards. It knew that doesn't get me down to that one little corpse I wanted to get to, so shoot. Alright, whatever. I think it's about time to end the episode. I kind of want to fight that Titanite lizard. I don't know. Maybe. Titanite scales are going to be quite handy. I am going to be getting that Farron Greatsword ASAP. I know I need the Karthus Milk Ring to use it, but I have that, so I'll just have to deal with the invisible rolling for a little while, I suppose. Oh, wait, there's a ramp right here. And what's this? Titanite Charge! Yay! Ow. Huh? I know, I'm just leaving it be so much. How many things are here? Oh no, 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 crap, I don't want to get bleed. I don't want perma bleed. Get those maggots away from me. Ah. I'm surprised I'm not getting blood-red moss clumps. I'm really genuinely surprised. What's this? Ooh, poison bite ring. That's not handy here. Huh? <laughs> Liar ahead if you ask me. I mean, okay, poison bite ring is useful. It's just not the most useful thing right now here. Oh, wow, that's a troll. Illusory wall ahead where there's nothing there! Yeah, okay. Uh, hey, poison bite ring is not bad. 
Uh. Oh. No, still not down. Or up. Bee! Glitches! <laughs> e. Explaining culling bugs. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here for now. So... Thanks for watching. Next episode, we will be fighting that Titanite Lizard, but not right now. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. We found a new area. And stay tuned for the next one, where we'll actually fight that thing and, I guess, continue on to the Cathedral of the Deep proper.